Well, today it is me, the hat on pain that is here. Last week, I wasn't able to make it due to some reasons, and Lola, my co host, just doing it, and today she is not also here due to some reasons. And like, he's, and like she said, it is definitely for the improvement of our lives and also for little talks. So just bear with us, guys, for this main time and just, you know catch us along and just follow the flow and the vibe we are still your host and we are still your care and we are right here we're going nowhere so let us go into what we have today now one thing is let me just do a little introduction before i actually say what we're going to talk about today but in general just a little tip about the girl child so one thing that most girls often get when growing up is you know is that their body is imperfect you know either you're too light or you're too dark or you're too skinny or you're too fat you know one or two messages are just fat and for some ladies it comes in a different way in which they tell them that by for them to be accepted into the society parts of their body has to be cut or altered or be shaped due to procedures known as female genital mutation so yes guys that is what we'll be talking on today, female genital mutation. Now, you know me now, I like to, you know, explain first in the layman's language. So, in the layman language, we say that is just the girl child circumcision. Yes, girl child circumcision. So, you can also say it's female genital mutation. So, what exactly is female genital mutation? This involves, you know, procedures that involves the you know, external removal of the female genital organs you know, it's either done partially or totally so let me just put it in a nutshell female genital mutation are procedures involving the partial or total removal of the female genital organ or injuries that has been sustained by the female genital organs with no medical reason those are all called female genital mutation yeah so one thing i like okay what's up with this story i'm just going to tell you a little story of where this generated from so i i have a friend who is definitely a lady yeah so she put to bed and it was a baby girl so during that period I, i'm so close to her so i was always with her from you know i think um it takes seven days before they come to circumcise anything whether it's a girl or it's a boy you know on the day of the naming yes that's when they do the circumcision so through that period that she, the baby from the day one i was always around so one day i got i had them saying that they were going to circumcise the child i was like what in this modern age like i was like okay what's going on i had to come in then they started explaining that ah we did it my father's my forefather's Four mothers did it because it's a lady's thing. So I, I had to start explaining to them that look, this thing is no longer happening. Like female genital mutations, girl child circumcision is not really that good, it's not all that nice. You know, I had to educate them. They were like, ah, faith, it's a lie, it's good, we did it, I did it, I'm leaving. And I just gave birth. I'm the one that gave birth to this child. And I, I like it took me a while trying to like convince her trying to explain to her why she shouldn't circumcise the child but to god be the glory at the end of the day they did not circumcise the child but then that got me thinking i'm like okay fine so that does that mean that there are actually individuals who still think of circumcising the girl child even in this modern age so that is why we have decided to bring it to little talk because here we talk about little things that nobody talk about that is in the society and is happening and yet this female genital mutation is still happening out there every day but one thing i've come to realize is it's more occurrent in the rural area like it's more prevalent in the rural area yeah than the modern area because they have you know the urban cities they are growing and they are learning and we are all improving but where we still have it mostly is in the rural area so we also try and see with that which we can help them out during my service year i had a little opportunity for working with an ngo so their main goal was all about this girl child you know circumcision they were all against it and it was a movement so 
I followed it. That was where I learned a lot about it. So one thing about the female genital mutation is it has different types. It has up to like four types, but I think I'm just going to be talking about the two, the two most prevalent types that people do a lot. So the first one that we're going to be talking about now is clitoris dectomy. Now this involves the partial or total removal of the clitoris. So that's just the meaning of that one. That's the first one. Why the second one is a seizure. Now this involves the partial or total removal of the clitoris and the labia minora. So that's it for the types. They have other types. We have infibulation, we have other injuries. You know, there are different types of the girl child mutation, how it is done. And also another thing, each country, each continent also have their different ways of how they operate and how they do it and how the practice is done. So that that just gives rise to different types. But the most prevalent one is just this two that we talked about. The total removal or partial removal of the clitoris and then the partial removal or total removal of the clitoris and labia minor. So that's it. So now we are going to be talking about the disadvantages. But one thing you should know about female genital mutation is it does not have any advantage. It does not have any advantages at all. At all, it does not have any advantage. So why why do something that does not that doesn't add anything to you? Why don't you just let it go? Why why would you do that to your child? So that so first is female genital mutation. It, it gives rise to a lot of mental issues. I just want to start from you. Know, I don't know where I'm starting from, but I don't want to start from the main point. I'm starting from the other points that people in general don't really look at. So that's where I'm going to start from. First is the mental health of the girl child or the individual. Now, you can sometimes it, it has affected so many ladies mentally because they feel like they don't have rights over their body and why growing up, they just see their mates are different and they are looking different, you know, one or two things can arise and as a girl child, she might just start thinking about it and get depressed or mentally depressed and all of that stuff. So this girl child circumcision can lead to the men mental depression of the girl child later in life. Because most, one thing is, it's usually done at the very tender age from 1 to 14 years, but now it's like after 7 days. The circumcision and all of that. So the girl child may not even know. These are things that are done when you were a baby. So that was that it. So another thing about one of the disadvantages is you no, know, before that, one thing we should know about the female genital mutation is that it's a human right stuff. So you don't you don't have the right to do that to somebody. At least why don't you give the girl child her position to make decisions for herself? This is also one of the things that leads to the mental health depression and all of that. Because she feels like, okay, and that means I can't make decisions for myself. Because in that position, you have already made the decisions for her. So you are not we are not exercising human rights positions when we, you know, go ahead to circumcise the girl child at very tender age. So that could also affect them later in life. Then now going over to the main disadvantages of this female genital mutation. Number one is it can lead to death. Yes, a lot of them lead to death. By which, when the procedure is not properly done, it can lead to death. So another disadvantage of this female genital mutation is excessive bleeding can occur. So when that happens, it may probably due to wrong practices or the wrong practitioner mistakes can happen it is highly risky because first of all the girl child the baby it's very fragile so you have to even go well, carrying out the procedure you have to be handled with care and most times when people don't handle it with care it's a lot of things can result and one of them is excessive bleeding and that could also lead to death when the girl when the child bleeds excessively you know causing harm hemorrhage to the blood tissues and all of that so that could, that is a very fatal incident and we should try to avoid it by not circumcising the girl child at all another disadvantage of this 
female genital mutation is. It can lead to, you know, childbirth difficulty later in life. So when, when most times, for example, the type of fibrillation, yeah, when it's time for the lady to give birth to the child, you might want, you might cut her open because it's not open. So for infibulation, what they do is they reposition the labia minora and they have to close it up, making you know the vagina hole so narrow. So during intercourse or probably during childbirth, that it has to be open and that will cause a lot of damage, you know, a lot of health issues to the to the lady and also to the child she's about to bring forth to the world. So why why you go through all that stress just because you want to fulfill something that is not even tangible? So it's best to just not do that at all to the girl child. Then another disadvantage that can occur is you know infection. So most times the procedure is usually carried out with you know razor blades, scissors, and all of that. Well, it can it might not be sterilized properly or the razor blade may have one or two infections but at the end of the day infections can occur and that is very dangerous and deadly to the girl child you know it can lead to a lot like a long life lasting one illnesses or infections that might later disturb her when she grows up and soon before you have to start spending a lot of money to treat yourself and all of that so that also leads to infection in some of the cases yeah. so yeah another disadvantage of the female genital mutation is it can lead to you know urination issues the lady might not be able to pass her urine properly because urinal retention exactly yes yeah, that is what the condition is called so that could also happen that could also occur from girl child circumcision and one thing we should know about the girl child circumcision is there is no safe girl child circumcision at all. It is not safe. No matter who is carrying it out, whether it's a medical practitioner or <clears throat> a very inexperienced lady that is involved in it, it is not safe. Another thing about the female genital mutation is that it can cause a long life, you know, a lifetime damage and pain the ladies like women and girls who undergo female genital mutation have a long-term series of damages tissue damages or pain or even to the extreme end of infertility yes and we have a lot of recorded cases of circumcisions we get the girl child circumcision who thereby resulted in infertility exactly so it's really not nice and you are more susceptible to infections around everywhere you go so you have to be extremely careful when you are an individual who is outside so yes guys that's practically it on this show for today it's it's a really short one it's just an information that i wanted to pass out there to individuals because of the story i had i know a lot of people already know about the female circumcision we have a lot of bodies who are fighting effortlessly against it because a lot of awareness has been raised and you can never get enough so why not still throw it out on this platform on the show so that is what we are doing so that's why it's extremely short but then i hope you guys have gotten something you can always like i said it is more prevalent in the rural areas so you can always you know try reach out to individuals in hospitals maybe in the villages if you have any opportunity i try to you know, encourage them and educate them. One thing about this female genital mutation is ignorance. A lot of people that practice it do not know most of the consequences that it, it affects, it, it um, comes along with it. Because one, one thing about it, it started way back in the olden days, you know, so it was something that practically every woman at that point has undergone. So when they grow up and start having issues or complications, they might see it as normal. Without them having <coughs> the knowledge that it was actually from the female genital mutation, which was done when they were babies or when they were growing up. So that could really cause a lot. So why not just, you know, abstain from just indulging in the act of female genital mutation? And even to some extent, it causes shock 
you know, in long term shock to the lady. You know, when it depends, especially when the practitioner is not experienced or is doing the wrong thing, the baby can get shocked, and this could thereby affect her psychological reasoning or thereabout. Really, guys, female genital mutation has caused a lot of problems that we cannot overemphasize. That is why we are really, really fighting against the female genital mutation. I hope you learned, and I'll also like you to, you know. If you know someone you have tried to talk to, you know, from doing female genital mutation, girl chest mutation, you can also tell us and let us know how you went. Or probably you're an individual who, who has undergone it and you want to share one or two stories about how it felt like and how the consequences are, you can still let us know. But one thing they will even tell you is, I did it and I'm living fine, I'm doing well. We don't know the consequences it, it has resulted of in having. The truth about the female genital mutation is it doesn't have any health benefits. So why do we it? So guys, that is a lot for today and I hope you've gotten one or two. So don't forget who I am. I am Ihata Faith and I'll be right here still on this show. Don't forget S-T-O-N TV every Saturday 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. only on Stunt TV. Don't forget to click the subscription button. So that's a wrap guys. Have a nice day. Bye.